Well, hello there. Welcome to the break here from Bounty Hunter Breaks. This is Boba Femi. And these are my last two value boxes from Fanatics of the eight that I received. So, we're not going to chit chat at all. We're just going to dive right into it. And I don't know if this go around, if I'm going to separate the packs out. Because you can basically tell which ones have the. Red ray, red ray waves as opposed to just regular refractor packs. Because the red ray waves basically have an extra pack or extra card in the pack, like this one here. It's gonna have a red ray wave. So we have a first Galactic Empire, Palpatine, and then. Supreme Leader Snoke on the Red Ray Wave. Maybe this will be the two that two boxes that have something amazing in them. Oh, we got the Duchess Galactic Gear. A Toro Calican Refractor. And here comes the Redway Wave. Bo-Katan pursues the Raptor. And a Dio. That was interesting. That was back to back. Or was that? Oh no, that's the fourth pack. Dryden Voss Refractor. Here comes a Red Ray Wave. And an insert. Bo Katan rescues Mandalorian. And General Grievous. And I, that's something I cannot argue about. But the red ray waves look really good. They do. There's no doubt about it. It'd be nice to get something else in the boxes. Grand Inquisitor. On the refractor. And here should be the fourth and final red ray wave from this box and we have another Jyn Erso got her in the last two and a Lando Calrissian Last pack for the last box. Taladurath. Last box. The eighth and final one. I kind of checked on the way home at my local Target and they didn't have anything. The only thing they did have was some Olympic hopeful pat or boxes, and there was something. Uh, what was the other thing? There was one other product that they had there, and I'm trying to remember what it was. It wasn't anything super noticeable. Civil War with the Separatists. That's a new one. And then. Mm, nice gin or so. Lando Calrissian on the refractor. Here's a red. 
Red Pack. Eris. Pursues the Raptor again. And a Wedge Antilles. I'm not certain. I'm trying to remember if I got him yesterday or not. Brea Organa, a regular gin. And the refractor. Red Ray Wave. Is it a red ray ray wave? Ooh, there you go. The offspring of Anakin Skywalker. I'm pretty sure that's a new one. And it is a Red Ray Ray Wave. Another Gorian Shard. Oh, there's Count Dooku. And a Berg Refractor. Looks like Berg is hiding on me. Have not pulled very many bergs. Last two. General Hux on the refractor. And here we go. Last chance for anything. Do have a Galactic Civil War. It looks like it's it's going to be R two D two. And now that I have him, I have to see what number he is. He is eight, but his picture is for number nine. So I think they numbered them incorrectly on the Jedi, or excuse me, Rebel Alliance side. I was going to say, I don't know if I still had it over here or not, but yes. That's... Eight and nine, but Jin is listed as nine and R2D2 as eight, but that's not correct. So, chalk it up for one more mistake that Tops made. So, nothing really to speak of other than the red ray waves. We got the Wicket, the ray, red ray wave. Wedge Antilles, Jin Erso, Lando, General Grievous, Dio, uh, and Supreme Leader Snoke. So, probably between the Jin and Ray would be what I would refer to as my top two out of those. Those two blasters are value boxes, but yeah, that concludes these eight boxes from Fanatics. Can't say that they were spectacular. They were just average at best. But again, the red ray waves are the primary reason that you're opening those. And based upon that, I basically did really well. But hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and... We'll catch you on the next video, so hope you all have a great yesterday, and as always, keep collecting.